Ever wonder what happens if a Tesla battery fails and how much that repair would cost? Hey there, it's Morgan Lane. I'm a certified automotive safety specialist and I've spent years helping owners make smart, safe choices. You're watching Recall Roadmap with Morgan. Today, I dug into official reports and real service invoices to answer one thing. How much does it cost to replace a Tesla battery in 2025? Quick clarity before we start. I'm talking about the high voltage traction battery pack under the floor, the big one that moves the car, not the small 12 volt battery that powers accessories. Different part, different price. Here's the jolt. Replacing an EV battery can cost thousands of dollars, and yes, for Teslas, it can land in five figures according to owner invoices and Business Insider. But keep this in mind too. Most batteries last up to 200,000 miles. That means many drivers never face this bill at all. I know a lot of you worry about hidden costs with EVs. I get it. After combing through Tesla's own data and actual shop paperwork, I'll walk you through the worst case sticker shock, the real world averages, and how to avoid replacement all together. Before we dive in, hit like if battery costs have ever crossed your mind and drop the number you expect in the comments. Now, is it not as bad as it sounds or is it worse? Let's find out. How likely is it that you'll ever face that huge battery bill? Here's the good news first. Tesla guarantees the battery for eight years with mileage caps that vary by model. Generally, it's eight years or between 100,000 and 150,000 miles. For Model S, X, and Cybertruck, coverage is eight years or 150,000 miles. For Model 3 and Y, it's eight years with limits closer to 100 to 120,000 miles, depending on version. Under that warranty, if the battery fails by Tesla's terms, you pay zero dollars for the pack. And beyond the warranty window, degradation is usually modest. Tesla's own data shows about 12% capacity loss after 200,000 miles on Model SX, meaning you still have roughly 88% left after a decade of normal driving. That's why most owners never get anywhere near a full pack swap during typical ownership. Think of it like planning to keep an engine under a long powertrain warranty. If it fails within that time, the manufacturer eats the cost. Same idea here. Give a thumbs up if you knew your Tesla's battery coverage was that long. I pulled these numbers straight from Tesla's official warranty pages and Business Insider summaries, so we're aligned on facts. Great, so the safety net is real, but what if the clock runs out? Let's talk actual out of warranty costs next. Okay, you're past the eight year mark. What would a battery actually cost? Let's talk real numbers from owner invoices. For a Model 3, recurrent documented around $13,500 for the battery pack and about $2,299 for labor, putting the total near $15,799. Model Y uses a similar pack, so totals around $15,000 are common. Owners also often quote a rough yardstick of about $180 per kilowatt plus labor for 3Y, which lines up with those figures. Now the bigger packs. Model S and X use higher capacity batteries, 85 to 100 kilowatts in many years, so parts cost goes up. Reported totals for a full replacement often land between $20,000 and $22,000. Business Insider notes, over $20,000 can easily happen. In short, smallest packs, like some standard range or newer LFP setups, tend to be lower while the largest performance packs push the high end. Two notes from my side, Prices change over time and by location, and parts availability can swing numbers. Always get a current quote from Tesla or a trusted EV shop. I aggregated real service invoices to get these figures, not guesses. Those totals include parts and labor. Speaking of which, how much does labor actually add? Let's unpack the install work next. Here's the part most folks don't plan for, labor. Swapping a Tesla battery is not a quick bolt-on job. The car goes on a lift, the underbody pack is unbolted, high voltage lines and coolant are safely disconnected, and the new pack is calibrated. It's major surgery just like replacing an engine in a gas car. What does that cost? One Model 3 invoice recurrent highlighted showed labor at about 2,999.27. 
That's on top of the pack price. In practical terms, plan for a few thousand in labor. $2,000 to $3,000 is a fair ballpark at many service centers or qualified EV shops. Time depends on tooling, techs, and pack generation. But it's a multi-hour job that demands high-voltage safety training and precise procedures. I pulled these numbers from actual owner paperwork so you see what people really paid, not a theoretical calculator. The takeaway. Don't expect to escape labor charges. Add that to your budget if you're beyond warranty. Quick poll? Drop a comment with parts or labor to say which cost shocks you more. If paying full freight makes you sweat, I hear you. Some owners look for cheaper paths, used or refurbished packs or targeted repairs. Let's talk legitimate money-saving options next. Is there a way to dodge that full price bill? Sometimes, yes. Third-party vendors sell refurbished or remanufactured Tesla packs that have been tested and repaired. For Model 3 and Model Y, online listings show refurbished packs around $899 to $14,500, roughly half the price of new. That's a serious discount if you're out of warranty. But there are trade-offs. These packs usually come with shorter, vendor-backed warranties, not Tesla's warranty, and installation still requires skilled labor. Some shops can also repair only the failing modules inside a pack. That can save even more, but it's advanced work and can conflict with Tesla's official performance standards. Always make sure the shop knows high voltage safety and has EV experience. I checked live listings from EV parts retailers to confirm those prices. So we're talking about real market options, not wishful thinking. For the right owner, refurbished can be a smart bridge. Tag a friend who loves a bargain and tell me if you'd roll with a used pack at that price. Of course, all of this assumes you actually need a replacement. Many owners never do. So how often does a Tesla battery fail in the real world? Let's look at the data. Do Tesla batteries fail often enough to worry? Statistically, almost never. Battery health firm Recurrent looked at 15,000 EVs and found only about one maximum 5% had a pack replacement when you exclude major recalls. That's just 265 vehicles out of 15,000. Tiny. The oldest Teslas, like the 2013 Model S, show higher rates around 8.5%, which makes sense because they're among the earliest packs. Newer models, especially Model 3 and Y, show even lower replacement rates. Recurrent summed it up well. These low numbers are promising and suggest EV batteries maintain a lot of life. In plain language, odds are you'll never face a full pack swap, especially if you bought in recent years and drive normally. If this kind of data helps you breathe easier, hit subscribe to stay on top of smart ownership tips and cost breakdowns. Did that 1.5% surprise you? Remember, nothing is zero risk. But based on real-world stats, a Tesla battery dying out of warranty is the exception, not the rule. If you want to keep it that way, there are easy habits that stack the odds in your favor. Let's talk about how to avoid the bill altogether with simple care and charging choices. So how do you stay out of that unlucky percentage? Treat the battery gently. Think of it like a phone battery, but smarter. For daily use, keep your charge limit moderate. Around 80% is a safe target for many owners, and Tesla often recommends setting daily limits near 90% depending on your pack. Save 100% for road trips. Also try not to run it down to 0%. Temperature matters. Extreme heat and extreme cold stress the pack. Park in shade when you can, use a garage in winter, and precondition the car before you head out on freezing mornings. Your Tesla already balances cells during normal charging, so regular, moderate charging helps keep things even. Driving style helps too. Aggressive launches and heavy towing add stress. Smooth acceleration and strong regenerative braking are gentler on the system. Keep software up to date because Tesla tweaks battery management via updates. One more safety net. During the warranty, Tesla guarantees at least 70% battery capacity retention. That tells you they expect the pack to hold up for the long run. Quick comment. Post 100 or 80 to share your routine. Follow these habits and you may never come close to a replacement.
Now, will the future make this even less of a worry? Let's look ahead. Could tomorrow's tech make today's worries feel old? Signs point to yes. At Tesla's battery day in 2020, the company introduced the 4680 cell, a bigger format that promises far higher energy density and, in Musk's words, is much cheaper to produce. Tesla even talked about five times the energy at the cell level compared to previous formats, which can translate to more range or fewer cells per pack. Zoom out to the whole industry. Battery costs per kilowatt hour have fallen dramatically over the last decade, with many estimates hovering near or under 100 kilowatt guard in the mid-2020s. As gigafactories in Texas, Berlin, and Shanghai scale up, economy of scale pushes pack prices down further. Add in recycling, companies like Redwood Materials are turning old packs back into valuable materials. And you get a cleaner, cheaper supply loop. So if you're buying now and only think about replacement many years down the road, odds are the price tag will be lower by then. That doesn't make today's numbers small, but it does make the future less scary. If you learned something new, hit like and share this with a friend who's shopping for an EV. All right, we've covered costs, coverage, and care. Let's wrap it up. So here's the bottom line. Replacing a Tesla battery in 2025 can run into the tens of thousands. But it isn't common, thanks to long warranties and durable packs. Most owners never see that bill. In short, be ready for a big price if you ever need it. But feel confident that the warranty plus smart habits make it unlikely. We're talking about the high voltage traction pack not the little 12 volt. And Tesla's data shows modest wear around 12% loss even after 200,000 miles. Put that together with the eight year 100,000, 150,000 mile coverage, and the battery often outlasts the rest of the car's useful life. You've been watching Recall Roadmap with Morgan, and my goal is to help you protect your car and your wallet with clear real world info. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you want more safety first guides and cost breakdowns every week. Hit like, share this with someone who drives a Tesla, and drop your battery health stories in the comments. Final question Now that you know the facts, does this change your Tesla plan? Are you relieved or still nervous? I'm reading every reply. Thanks for watching.